The forward defenses stand down as you command, Grandmaster. It is confirmed. Four intruders. It is time to entertain our guests. All right, I've got point. You and Jin, that side. Move! Ready? You! I need to s You are not welcome here. State your intentions. Grandmaster, we need you to come with us. My name is Sergeant- You demand my cooperation, yet you are cut off, surrounded. What will you do? My father always spoke highly of you, Sub-Zero. He wants to talk. Talking. Always his first choice. Okay. Let's try pummeling. Now! Wait! <laughs> Cassandra Cage. You lead this group, but they do not follow. What would your mother do? Stop wasting time and take you down. You are more like your mother than you think. Your power should have revealed my intention, Takahashi Takeda. No doubt Kenshi taught you how to use them. My father taught me a lot, Grandmaster. Let us see. You 
are not your father. Not yet. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Damn it. You announced your arrival, Jacqueline Briggs. Specialist Briggs. Yes, military decorum is important in your family. If you know my father, you know me. Thought you and he were friends. Our history share a dark chapter. Judge yourself harshly, Specialist Briggs. rather than mock your superiors. I'll remember that, in case I ever meet one. Bravado does not suit you. Any ideas? Sub Zero, let's talk. That opportunity has passed. Got a new plan, Cage? You could have followed the old one, Jin. You're gonna catch hell if you kill us. Chuo, Tang Jin. That worked. This was all a, a... A training exercise. Damn, I should have seen it. You and your friends show much promise, Cassandra Cage. But until you function as one, you will fall short.
So other than that, you enjoyed your visit? The Linquois shredded us. You, maybe. I see plenty of frozen boot prints on your ass, too. Come on now. You're all winners in my book. New orders from General Blade. Priority one, Outworlders. Here in Earthrealm. An invasion? Couldn't be. You're not afraid, are you, Mr. Cage? Outworlders, I can handle. So when did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees. From the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earthrealm. After you. Do not dwell on your encounter with the Lin Kuei, son. Pretty hard not to. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your wardings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Lee Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. <laughs> Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flagg. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Lee Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. <laughs> 